never not working, I'm feeling like Jules. Never not working, I'm feeling like Jules. Never not working, I'm feeling like Jules. Hey, that was one of my jams. Still is to this day. This is Yes Jules. You guys are tuning in to 1AM Radio. We have a very special guest in the building right now. Take a shot. Welcome to 1AM Radio. This is, a, this is how interviews are supposed to go down. You walk in, we offer you glasses. We offer you tequila. We respect a real CEO, a real boss when we see one. Young Draco, man. I'm in the building. Big souls, man. Hottest rapper in the game, man. What's poppin'? You are on the illest press run <laughs> I think I've seen in years, dude. What is was this a plan? Like, I, did you know that the the interviews was gonna blow up the way that they are? Nah, I'm just doing my thing. You know You're just saying? telling the truth. Yeah, just being like real. Most most of everything I say like go viral. Even when I be chilling, like I be at the crib on Instagram, just you know what I'm saying, just make a video <laughs> talking and it, it go viral. So we noticed. We also noticed you bought what, how many did you bought eight Gucci headbands? Gucci needs to just make you the Gucci headband ambassador at this point because they Worst. they must be selling. I wonder if we look up the percentage of sales <laughs> if it's gone up since Word. you've been doing this press run. Hey, he's got the glasses Word. on shout right to, now. Shout out to Gucci, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Gucci. I've been wearing Gucci since I was a teenager, man. I dropped Gucci bandana with Gucci Man and Shawty Lowe when I was 18. Yeah, it's crazy. You've Produced been doing this since you were 17. Word. So you got uh, a new album on the way. You have a movie dropping this summer. Soldier Boy, the movie part two, This Can't Be Real. It's going to be in M AMC theaters. Yeah. Tell me about this movie problem. You are just like the ultimate hustler. You got everything. You got so many different verticals right now. Yeah, my movie dropping this year, man. AMC theaters. They gave me $3 million cash. You ain't seen it yet? No. I'm going to send you the link. I thought I'd send it to you, my bad. I'm going to text you the link. Yeah, text it to me. You know what else I don't have yet? What's up? And everybody told me to make sure I asked you for it today when you came in, but the Soldier Watch. The Soldier Watch. I'm going to get you a Soldier Watch, <laughs> too, though. You know what I'm saying? We, we getting money, man. Got the Soldier Watch. Y'all go to sodmg.co. Get you a Soldier Watch today. You know what I'm saying? Artists, pay attention. He knows how to plug himself. This is what you, any 1 a.m. radio roster artists, make sure you guys are, are, are learning from the great right now. Right. So listen, you've got all this going on. You've got your video game console. You're, you're battling trolls every day on the internet. You're doing this press run. You're dropping a, a movie. You're dropping an album. What is your main focus? What's the, the thing you're most passionate about right now? I'm most passionate about my album, man. I'm saying that album talk. You know, the album's on the way, man. Let's talk about the album. It's got 13 tracks. Um, it features the likes of Timbaland, ASAP Rocky, Ferg, Clue, Yachty, Nicki Minaj. We know you're going on tour with her this summer. Asian Doll, Skinny from the Nine. That's a stacked lineup right there. Yeah, man. Smooky Margiela, he on there too. Young you know Smooky, shout out. I'm doing a lot of producing on here, man. Big shout out to Timbaland, though. I always wanted to work with Timbaland. Like That's my, legendary. My whole career. You know Do you have saying? people that, I mean, I know this might sound like it's impossible, but I know how this industry could be. When you had blown up the first time around were there some people that maybe weren't trying to work with you that are that you're getting a second chance to work with now yeah definitely you know what i'm saying like Timberland I had maybe? To I had to, <laughs> yeah i definitely had to prove myself you know what i'm saying so like when i first came into the industry there's a lot of collabs i wanted to do that wasn't possible that now they're possible to, to do you know what i'm saying so i just had to put that work in you know there's this thing that happens with 1 a.m when you um say things on air they happen so if there is a person that you haven't got the chance or the opportunity to work with yet um, that you'd like to work with, who would it be? Jay-Z. Jay-Z was good. Was good, Jay-Z. We trying to, I know I was listening to your interview where you were saying, he ain't do a track with Jay-Z. <laughs> yeah, I got records with everybody, man, so for Hov. So, but here's the thing. When I tweeted and I asked people, okay, what, what would you guys like to ask Soldier? A few people want to know, would you be up for a possible collaboration with Drake? We see Champagne Poppy followed you on Instagram. Word. I already got uh, songs with Drake. What? Yeah. Like a new one, though. Oh, make a new one. Yeah. Man, you know, we could do that. We could do that. 1 a.m. radio, we got to make it happen. Audience members, make sure you guys start tweeting. Drake and uh, Soulja, do you want something to drink? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not drinking at 7 o'clock p.m. anyways. But so, okay, somebody also asked, well, I thought this was pretty interesting and wanted to ask you how they even got on the block list to begin with. Can you please tell him to unblock me on Xbox? So I want to know. I know you're an avid gamer. Yeah. What the hell does it take to get blocked by Soldier Boy on Xbox so we can make sure the listeners at no home know their do's and don'ts? Man, this is, you say some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you say something stupid to me, we can cuss on here? Yeah, you could cuss. I'm sorry. It's 1 a.m. radio. I ain't mean to cuss, but yeah. If you say something dumb to me or disrespect me, I'm going to block you, period. <laughs> Okay. It's that simple. Just don't disrespect Big Draco. You remember me? Now, outside, I was talking to you. We had a little conversation before we came in. And um, 
I got a little bit of flack for doing this interview because I am affiliated, um, and and everybody's seen what you've been saying about him in the in the recent press run. But um, there seems to be like this underlying thing with Kanye West. Now I brought it up, and you were like, "I love Kanye," and I was like, "Wait right. a minute." So is this coming from a place of like most people who have something to say about him right now? They're just disappointed. Like it's coming from a place of love. Like what? Are, what is the underlying tone here with Kanye West? Man, it's no problem with Kanye West. I love Kanye West to death. You know what I'm saying? I worked on RoboCop remix with him. I know Kanye for a long time. Oh, I didn't saying? even know that. So you guys have met and you've worked together. Plenty of times. I, I worked with him on RoboCop the remix. Um, Travis got to tell you, he heard it. That that, mm -hmm. that that was fire, but it was just like a lot of clearances and stuff with the samples, so we, that never released. And I was there when he did Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, the movie. I was there as he edited it, the whole movie in, wow. New, in New York. Um, I've been knowing Kay for a long time, man, since he was with Amber Rose, like, yeah. like throwback, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like I'm the hottest rapper in the game right now, and it's like a lot of people be saying, this and that about Kanye, and I just don't feel like he, it, you know what I'm saying? Like You feel I, like it's overhyped? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I, I came out with a video game console. I sold a million, million dollars worth of video games in, in 15 days, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. he told me he walked Disney and, and Steve Jobs and all that. He not none of that, you know what I'm saying? He 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 cool, you know what I'm saying? He came out with some some tennis shoes. That's cool. I came out with a whole shoe company called Yums and sold it for millions. Then I came out with Boulevard Supply and sold it for millions, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like... Don't compare me to Kanye, man. I'm more influential than Kanye. You know what I'm saying? I'm Soldier Boy. If it wasn't for me, Kanye wouldn't be tweeting on Twitter right now. You know what I'm saying? That I'm I'm the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Period. And if nigga don't like it, it is what it is. Nigga, I don't like y'all neither. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, 2019, my year, I'm gonna have the biggest, the best album. And Kanye, if you don't like it, it is what it is, bro. You the one wearing Trump hats. You the one out here tweeting on Twitter every week talking about Drake crying. You know what I'm saying? Crying about Drake following Kim Kardashian. Like, bro, what is you doing? You going outside. Every rapper in the gang follow Kim Kardashian. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just like, you running on the stage, taking the mic from Taylor Swift. You just disrespectful, bro. Period. If there was my little sister and you did that to me, it would have been a problem, bro. You don't never run on the stage and take no mic from no female while she accepting the award. Like, what's wrong with you, bro? Period, bro. Ain't that, that's, there's nothing right about that, bro. You wrong, bro. Period. You feel me? And if ain't nobody else gonna say nothing, I'm gonna say something. I'm a big soldier. I don't care nothing about none of that. Kanye could come holler at me right now. I respect that. I respect that you don't really, you know, have a filter and, and that you're open and ready to say whatever's on your mind. <clears throat> um, have any of the people been, have any of the people that you've mentioned recently, like, reached out? I know that you said Everybody Tiger, reached out. Tiger reached out. So I feel up. like you and Tiger on a track together would be a hottest, vibe. I'm the hottest rapper in the game right now. I'd love to do a song with Tiger. Tiger was good, baby. Nima Gazi was popping, But at, popping, but at yeah. the same time, Tiger. <laughs> Tiger? So, where, so who, what is... Who, 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 nigga talking about he had a big comeback to me in 2018, but that's not true. You had a record with Offset. You know how many songs I got with the Migos? Yeah. You got a lot of songs with the Migos. Yo, but actually, let's talk about this. What was one? Of your, what were your favorite performances and things that you did in 2018 since it was such a big comeback year for you? My favorite thing in 2018 was the whole year. Man, I was getting money. I came out <laughs> with a video game concert, a soldier game. That I know, so, I wanted you to bring million, one today. So I got it. Could... It's in the Bentley truck in the back oh. seat. Y'all was rushing Can, can we get late. the fans excited? Yeah, that? we can get the fans Okay, excited. so fans, listen, we're going to do a freestyle competition before he leaves, and whoever wins is going to get the video game console, the famous console that he's been talking about. Everybody wants one of these games. Like All he right. said, they sold millions in the first day. Now, listen, you seem to be not. Nah, you don't seem to be. You are an incredible business mind. We've seen on online that there are a few people who are dealing with copyright issues with their dances right now, and you were one of the first people, if not the first, to copyright a dance. So you copy you copy wrote the crank that dance. What what would you say to the backpack kid or Black Boy JB, these guys who are, are about to go into, you know, battles with the video games who are stealing their dances? How can they protect themselves and monetize their their movement? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? That's their situation. They ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, shout out to rest in peace, Chris Lighty, you know what I'm saying? My management at Violator. He managed 50 Cent, Mariah Carey, L, Cool J, Diddy, a lot of people. He's a legend. Before he passed, and he the one who who did that for me. He he showed me how to copyright my name and trademark my name and all that. I don't know nothing about none of that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that shout out to Chris Lighty. Who are you working with these days? And, and yes, rest in peace, Chris. Trippy Red, you know what I'm saying? Ronnie J. I'm saying uh, management. Oh, yeah. Shout out Ronnie J. Shout out Trippy. But management-wise. I ain't got no manager. 
So you're doing all this on your own right now? Yeah. I don't have no manager. I don't have no none of that. Oh, wow. So you are you signed? I'm, I signed a single deal with E1, but I just left Hitco in a meeting with L.A. Reid. He's trying to sign me right now. That's why I was late. You need to come to 1 a.m. Records. This is the new... Listen, just how you change the game with the internet, we're trying to change the the, the record label game. But I fuck with Hitco. I fuck with L.A. Reid, so shout out to him. Yeah, I got a meeting with Epic Records tonight after this. And then I met with Interscope, called me two weeks ago. But I don't want to go back to them because that's my ex-label. And then... um. I got Def Jam. Who the other label that's trying to really get there, me There right must now? be a... You, you're going you're gonna to do the Trinidad James and break a record. Oh, Capital. Shout out to Caroline. I yeah. really, I, I like Capital, man. Shout we was in that meeting. We had too. a nice meeting. Shout out to Jacqueline. Jacqueline the president, Saturn. The, pre the president. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. My album finna come out real soon, so it's looking like L.A. Reid or... Um, Capital well, right we're, we're gonna watch the uh, the the bidding war for Soldiers album unfold. We may or may not be able to put an offer in there for you. Shout out to Sony. Nah, shout out to uh, <laughs> y'all. Keep doing y'all thing. Am man, y'all not rock. Yeah, the, no, I'm I'm I was inspired by you. I started this whole thing on Snapchat. My whole career, like I said, Chelsea was gonna be my manager. I was about to be an artist. I That's moved dope. to Miami. Chelsea started taking me to meetings and stuff, and I got Snapchat, and I was like, wow, this is a television show for the individual like this is a television network like anybody could download this app and just broadcast themselves doing anything they could add text to it i was like this is incredible and for a long time people were trying to tell me eh, it's a porn app that's a porn app i'm like you guys are stupid this is free advertising like this is commercials this is tv shows movies that's and so. you know finally people caught on so i know i know what it's like to um to be ahead of the wave so i want to ask you are there any apps or games or inventions that have come out recently that Big Draco could tell us is the new wave because you put us on to so much already. Soldier game, soldier watch, <laughs> soldier bot. Mm. What are some things that you've learned as far as being an artist like that you think may have helped improve your your work? I just learned how to be the best, you know what I'm saying? Learn how to get money, learn how to surround myself with bosses, you know what I'm saying? Just learn how to just, you know, have that crazy work ethic, you know what I'm saying? I just cracked the code. Never not working. Yeah, learned to work, learned to learn to learn the code, broke the mold, you know what I'm saying? Who's somebody that's been one of the biggest boss that's taught you things thus far? Man, nobody taught me nothing, man. Young Draco, I did all this myself, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no mentor, manager, or none of that. You know what I'm saying? Everything you see is me on my own. I produced the song that cranked it. I wrote the song that cranked it. And it sold 15 million ringtones and 10 million digital copies and the first artist to ever do that in history. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, I'm the one that teach niggas how to do stuff. I'm the one that show rappers how to do this and put them on and do that. Don't nobody show me nothing. He has spoken. Spike. <laughs> so nobody tells you how to do nothing. You're the one that runs the house. But is it the same way in your relationships? Because we saw a post the other day. I see that you have been leaving comments on, is it Tiona Fernand? Yeah, yeah, my, yeah, you talking about my girl? Yeah, she's beautiful. Thank you. So you were talking marriage recently. What's good for you right now? Man, you know I'm in I'm love. Like, I'm in love. You know think what I'm, I'm in love again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So where's she from? Tell tell us about her. She beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You know, y'all just go click the link in my bio. Go click the link in her in his bio if you guys want to see his girlfriend. So what are some? Uh, what would like a Valentine's Day date with Soldier Boy be like? Wherever well, you want to go, private jet to Hawaii, dinner on the beach. You know what I'm saying? Feet in the sand. Tiona. If you get a plus one, let a bitch know. <laughs> yeah, man. Whatever, whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? We take, we know. That sounds very nice. Very romantic. Very. So you are you a romantic? Yes. Yeah. Do you do you like to surprise your girls or like do you ever do like surprises? Like surprises. For, yeah, I love surprises. I love surprises. You know what I'm saying. What's like the nicest surprise you've ever given a girl? Just like a, a you know, a car or something. What? Purse, Gucci purse, and you can pop up with the blindfold. Like, boom, here you go. Yeah, that's really cute. I yeah, love that. Rain. Is Gucci your favorite brand? Yeah, I love Gucci. I've been wearing Gucci <laughs> since I could afford it. <laughs> Do you have any fashion regrets? No. There's nothing you've ever worn that Man, you I'm were like. Draco Big Soldier. I ain't never, I'm fly. I'm the freshest, like one of the flesh fries rappers in the game that you're gonna see. I know how to put it together real nice, you know what I'm saying? I see it. But you know, I just realized you were, did, were you not dropped for getting a face tat? Yeah, I got dropped from Interscope Records for How uh, insane a face is tattoo. that? And not every rapper in the gang got face tattoos. Were you the first rapper with? And Interscope called me two weeks ago trying to sign me again, but that's why I don't want to sign back with him because we left on bad terms. 
But I'm sure whoever whoever's call that was is gone now. It's probably a new Word. building. Nah, no, it's a whole you know new staff I mean? up there, but it's still it's they're still, popping. Interscope's doing really cool shit. Yes. Shout out to Capitol though. We might probably gonna go to Capitol. Shout out to LA Reed. We probably gonna go to Hitco. One of them two though. Whoever got the biggest bag, you know what I'm saying? We need to get that big bag secured for uh, Young yes. Draco. So I see hosting in your future. Are, what, are you doing more acting besides your movie? Are you? Yeah. Can we count on you hosting like the Grammys or anything coming up soon? Oh wait, wait, acting or hosting? Both. Oh, um, yeah, I'm going to be acting in movies, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be star executive producing my own movies. Like, you remember Baller Blocking with Lil Wayne and Cash mm-hmm. Money yeah. and, and um, um, the Master P movies and all that. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. start doing, like, gangster movies. I'm going to start off with street movies, like gangster street movies, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Executive producing. Mm-hmm. Paid in Full is one of my favorite movies of all yeah, time. Yeah, Paid in Full. Shout out to Steve Rifkin. Man, um, Shotters, you know what I'm saying? All that. But mine going to be just, like, I'm gonna start doing street movies, like trap movies, and then I'm gonna start doing big, like motion picture films, like where I'm starring in, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, That's fire. You have an agent? Yeah, I got an agent, but right now I'm, I'm focused on music. You know what I'm saying? Everything I'm doing music. I just did the movie to tell my story with the music. We see you love sports. So yeah, I played football in high school, wide receiver, number 80. Oh, so you played football, but do you like football better than basketball? When I was when I grew up, I played football in high school. I didn't play basketball, but I like basketball more. You like watching basketball. Who's your favorite uh, NBA team? Uh, the Lakers. Well, who's your favorite player? LeBron. LeBron James. <laughs> now, would you say LeBron had a great comeback this year? A great comeback, man. LeBron, the goat. He never went anywhere. <laughs> LeBron, the goat. You know what I'm saying? That's King James. Who do you who do you listen to when you're not making listening to yourself or making music? All I listen to is Soulja Boy. I listen to my little partners, man. Um, Go Yeah Yo, Lil Mosey. Let's pull up a Lil Mosey or Go Yeah Yo track. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so yeah, shout out to the Bay, man. Shout out to Lil Mosey. Um, let me see. What is your favorite movie? Somebody on Twitter wanted to know. My favorite movie, Scarface. Scarface. Say hello to my little friend. Say hello <laughs> to my little friend. Chi Chi, get the yayo. Um, and what gave you the idea to create a video game console? That's a good question. You know what I'm saying? It just came to me. I had an epiphany. You know what I'm saying? But my whole t- my whole life, like I always played video games. PlayStation so, or Xbox? Both. But my first my first idea was a video game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I came out with I dropped two video games on iPhone. One called Fighting Soldier. One called Beef with Soldier. You know what I'm saying? So. Them two games was lit, so I'm like, you know what, bro? I'm finna come out with a game for PlayStation. Beef with Soldier. Beef with Soldier. Downloading Can the iPhone app store. Yeah. It's, it's lit. All my fans got it. It's like one of the, the most games they play. But that's it's gonna, so crazy. I feel like you get you give us a new invention like every five seconds. <laughs> you you yeah. drop something. Else I really that you've do done. this. I really do this. You know what I'm saying? We in a new world, like app, like apps and coding and developing. And, like y'all gotta catch up. It's a new wave. You know what what else? What is what is the biggest thing that you've seen has changed in the game since when you were, you know, back? What was it? Ten years ago or how? Nah. Yeah, I got signed two thousand seven. You know what I'm saying? So like eleven years ago. Wow. 12, like, but so really, what's the biggest difference that you see from then to now? The biggest difference in the rap game is just streaming. You know what I'm saying? Back when I was out, we just had like physical copies of CDs. You can go purchase them in the store. CD players. Now it's just all streaming, mixtapes and. Digital down my mixtapes. Do you music. feel like it's made things watered down? Spotify, it's just it's dope. It's just it's dope, man. It's the future. You know what I'm saying? Don't nothing stay the same. Everything changed every ten years. That's so, a fact. So we was it was inevitable inevitable for the music streaming to come into play. That's a big fact, and uh, it allows people like us to do what we do because we could broadcast anywhere and and be live within thirty minutes, and all because of technology. So. Hey, that's Blueface right there. So funny story when we did the party with you for Art Basel, and everybody in this room that's on my team knows the truth. We had to choose. We were like, we voted in the group chat. I was like, guys, who should we book for Art Basel? And I was scrolling on Twitter, and I saw you, and I was like, yo, Soldier Boy would be so lit. And um, I and then somebody else in the group chat was like, "Yo, you got to book Blueface." And I was like, "All right, we're gonna do a vote, Soldier or Blueface." And you won the vote in the in the group chat, and we ended up reaching out to you and bringing you out. So I'm really young glad. Draco, baby. Young Draco. So you said that you have a single deal, and you're talking to labels right now. Well, I just want to let you know that we now have a, an official offer on the table for you from Sony, who I'm gonna be working with. So we could fly you to New York for that meeting as soon as you want. Oh, I just got the movie. text message. They say bring him in. So AG from Orchard, Sony, we got you. We're going to uh, set up that meeting so he can add another one to the table. Shout out to Sony, man. Y'all heard it. 
Hey. Let's get this money. Okay, so, and speaking of, in case you want to know what, what some of your label mates might sound like, if you come over here, this is Tree Safari. She's from 070 Collective. It's a group out of Jersey. I fucking think they're incredibly prolific. They remind me of, dare I say, like a, a Wu-Tang, but this is her as a solo artist, and this is her single, Brain Dead. We're about to drop it on the first. Let's go. Matthew Ali with a banger. I feel brain dead. This is draining. You be maxing. Hey, okay, that was Demotis Drought, 1 a.m. Records. This is Yes, Jules. You are tuned in to 1 a.m. Radio. I got my special guest, Soldier in the building. Yeah, it's Tommy. Hey, we also, here's, here's your headphones. And we also have Siobhan Bell, the lady from the other side of the pond, holding it down in London. She's one of the hardest DJs out there, and she just also happens to be super fitted and super beautiful all the time. What's good, Siobhan? How you doing? I'm amazing. So tell us what's going on in London. You just said Skepta's a big fan of Soldier Boy? Yeah. yeah, he's one of the realists. I'm sure he's real recognized. Real. Most fire person. He's a wise ear to whatever music he likes. Shout out to Skipta. <laughs> so, what did you think of the songs we just played? You fucked with them? Yeah, that was, they sounded dope. Yeah. Oh, we got the co sign from Soldier. Hopefully, we can make this Sony thing happen, man. So, listen, Soldier, this is what's going on. 1 a.m. radio. The whole reason why we started this radio station was because I realized that I had this knack for finding underground artists and songs that didn't really get their shot at the mainstream masses yet. And I had a following, so I figured why not start a radio station and put all my friends on. And right. um, now that's grown into just putting random people on that, that need a shot. And so we started, every time I go live, I do this thing where we pull up an instrumental of our special guests, we bring in three audience members and we allow them uh, 60 seconds to rap on the instrumental. And the winner usually gets tickets to Rolling Loud or you know something crazy, but this, time they're gonna get the coveted soldier boy game console which is in the bentley truck that you just paid for cash, oh they can't get the that one they can't have that one that's mine i send it in the mail like we can send it to them we can send a copy in the mail though oh, okay yeah. what's the difference <laughs> wait hold on what's the difference between yours and uh it's the, the same other it's the same one it's the oh, same okay one. but you just can't go a day without got you okay what instrumental are we going to use of soldiers we have gucci bandana okay let's do that that's perfect Perfect. Aye. So we're gonna pull in. These two young ladies have been sitting outside all day. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hi. So to our special guest who just walked in, this is how it's gonna work. My name is Yes Jules. You're gonna speak clearly into the mic. Let them know how old you are, where you're from, and what your name is. Okay. So my name is Zion. I'm eight years old, and I'm from Philly. You're eight years old. You're from Philly, and you did not come to play with us tonight. Are you ready to? Are are you? Are, do you always freestyle? Yes. Yeah, sometimes I do it in my head. Oh, okay. I love that. All right, let's go. Okay. Good luck. Okay. 60 seconds. Okay. So cute. You're so cute, <laughs> so yeah. Cute. Start? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh. My name is Zion. I'm nine years old, and I got an empire, so pass over the gold. Hey, okay. <laughs> you got maybe one more bar? You got some time left. Okay. Um. Uh-huh. Okay. Um. Uh, Ready and go. Soldier boy, you better pass her the money. Cause I need that money to get a mansion for me. And I ain't playing with no of the money because I need you to pass over all the money. <laughs> <laughs> hey. oh, pass you over the money, soldier. Pass over the money, soldier. He said, I need you to pass hey. over the money. Hey. Let's get the next contestant. Hey. All right. I think you are the youngest contestant. Pass over the money, soldier. <laughs> Take it all. Take it all. Take it all. Thank Thanks for coming. Okay, that's definitely the youngest contestant we've ever had on the station. This is not brought to you by Avion today. <laughs> so we're going to bring in the next contestant right now. Contestant number two. My name is Yes Jules. We've got our guest judges, Soldier and Siobhan Bell right here. Please speak into the mic. Let us know where you're from, who what you up, are. What up? I'm from Dallas, Texas. Shout out Yellow Beezy. Shout out Young Nation. Fully Fame. Fuego 214. We in the building. Shout out Fully yeah, Fame. Shout out. shout out Yellow Beezy. Part of the Hitco fam. Shout out to L.A. Reed. 
All right, so you know the name of the game. It's one minute. You got 60 seconds to uh, show us what you got. We got the Gucci bed, Gucci bandana uh, beat. Let's get it. And one, two, three, let's get it. Yeah. Walk into the building, drop a check. Now nah, on it, I could have been a doctor, but that is if I wanted. She a daddy's little girl, so the money is a must. And if I don't go to college, I'll forever be a buster. You can't even catch up to my muster. Maserati interior are red, looking like a cut up body. They say murder is a hobby, so the SWAT is in the lobby. Call me Tony Montana, but I'ma go out with a Tommy, rocking Tommy. Much a chopper, chop you up just like a salami. And I make back like a Molly, hop in the boat like a Molly. Face it hard like Ali, but I still ball like Scotty. 10 seconds. Swag. That's, I can't even hear the beat in the headphones. Oh, I you can't. Oh, turn up you. your headphones on the. Turn it up for him on that dial yeah. there. Oh, wow. Okay. I was, yeah, I was rapping without beat. No wonder why you were off beat a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't even hear that. I couldn't even hear that. Okay, so guys, this like, is, we're going to go ahead. I didn't want to judge the young lady, but we are going to have to judge this grown man. So yeah, let's me. go ahead. I'm going to give you a, so this is how it works. It's scale one to three. So soldier, if you really love it, you give him a three. If it's okay, you give him a two. And if it was I, you give him a one. Uh, man, I'm going to give him a three because he was rapping out. He couldn't even hear the beat. He still was snapping. Hey. hey right, okay, we got that. a nice judge over here. Shout out to Soldier giving out the threes. Siobhan, what do you think? Um, I'm going to give a two. Okay. It was fire. I just want to hit on beat, but apart right. from that, it was amazing. I would have loved to hear the beat. <laughs> yeah. Admit, that would have been I dope. I want to hear beat as well, but... Uh, I heard the beat. <laughs> hey, okay, so I'm going to give you a two. All right, so we got a combined score of uh, eight. <laughs> we got a combined score of eight. We got one more contestant, contestant number three. Make your way to the mic. Love, love. This is Who's Got Next on 1 a.m. Live. Thank you. Contestant number two, don't go too far. Oh, it's seven. I need to stop smoking weed. Okay, contestant number three, come to the come to the microphone. We did this at Complex Con. The winner got 25 hours of recording time. Shout out to uh, Dookie Boy for winning that. Shout out to Mystic Girl who won our contest in Miami. She's almost done with her project off those 25 studio hours. All about giving people the chance to uh, make their dreams come true. So contestant number three, your name, where you from? Yo, what's up? It's Jude Arve, you know, from Fort Myers, Florida. Shout out Florida. Firehouse, yes, sir. Uh, day every day. You know, um, it's an honor to be here in front of Soldier Boy. Dash Radio and everything, so thank you for having me here. All right. Myself from Florida. All right, so don't make us look bad, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Drop nah. the Gucci headband. What we, what we got right here? Let's go. Hold up. You got 60 seconds. I'm about, I'm about to let you know when I press start. All right. Can you hear it? Yeah. And one, yeah. two, yeah. three. Let's get it. Hold up. Post it up, this it go. Post it on C, no game, gonna bring. Hold up, hold up. Trapping out the set, go. Post it on sip slow, yeah, you know that we coming on the C notes. Trying to be a Rigo, that's a movie shot, trying to get it from a people. I'm at the door, aiming at the people. I'm just trying to get it looked in. Money falling out the rip pants. Two and swag got me in the gym. If I was a rapper off acid, would you give a nigga a chance? Cause niggas in my city done traffic, and I don't think shit finna end. But these niggas in my city stay matching. All them niggas wanna be twins, yeah. I put up in the city with the ratchet, and let this shit make some friends, yeah. Yeah, every day was good, just a week ago, no crime. Now everyone I know feel like they die. Yeah, every day was good, just a week ago, no, no crime. crimes. Now everyone I know feel like they die. Yeah. Okay, yeah. contestant yeah. number three. <laughs> Give me up for contestant number three right now. I had to get in there for a second real quick. I had to get in there for a second okay. real quick. You feel me? All right, so let's go ahead and give him a score. Siobhan, I'll let you go first. <laughs> I'm going to be honest and give a one, just because I'm from England and I couldn't. I needed to understand a little bit okay. more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're on the street team, so I'm giving you. you a three. Shout out to yeah, you, you for being on the 1AM Radio Street team. Yeah. We play you famous over here, baby. Every day, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, two, man. I'm giving you a two, you know. Two, Appreciate two that, for, Two forever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know what? Everybody get a console. You get a console. You, you get a console. Yeah. You get a console. <laughs> everybody get, everybody get a soldier game console yeah. tonight, man. I got y'all, man. That's yeah. amazing. Now, guys, can we sh can we just get a, a quick shout out? What's your favorite Soldier Boy song of all time? And we'll end the show with that. You! Oh, 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 I still play that. 
Okay. Okay, before we play that, go ahead. We got quick six. We like to play a game. Six random questions. You answer the first thing that comes to mind. I use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to having on to kill. Soldier, all you gotta do to introduce it, just say your name this, and this is the quick six. This is your boy Soldier, but it's the quick six. What's your favorite video game of all time? Grand Theft Auto. What was your favorite Disney Channel original movie growing up? Recess. Recess School's Out? Hey, that's a good one. <laughs> what was the name of your first pet? Nitro. Ooh, Nitro. What kind of dog, that's cat? The dog. What kind of dog? Like a German Shepherd. Oh, so cute. cute. Do you still have him? <laughs> Bitch, stick, stick to the six questions. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, what's the best <laughs> advice your parents have, have ever given you? I was like six years old, but no, nah, I don't still have him. Um, what was the first my parents have given me? My daddy just like wrap it up. Wrap it up? <laughs> I feel like that was the best advice I ever got. Wrap, put a condom on. That's what my pops told me. Uh, name the best food that your grandma makes for you. Egg pie. Egg pie? Oh, I've never had that before. That sounds good. Is it like an egg in a pie? Yeah. Egg? It's, yeah. Okay. You make it with eggs. It's like, you know, like sweet potato pie or like okay, pumpkin yeah, I've pie. Had I've had that one. I've had it's it. It's egg pie. It's okay. good. Yeah. Oh, okay. And last question. Name a, a <laughs> video, music video that changed your mind other than yours. That changed my mind? That about like what? changed like your mind. Just like you were blown away by it. Uh, bling, bling. Bling, bling. <laughs> Every time I come around, you say it's bling, bling. Pinky ring, wake back. I can't wait to bring those days back. Yeah. I seen that video. I was like, I want to be a rapper. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's when he knew. Okay, so this next song that we're going to play is, of course, a studio popular favorite. Shout out to Big Draco. We done? I got pee. Yeah, we done. He's got a pee. <laughs> Wait, say shout out to 1AM Radio and Yes Jewels before you go. Shout out to AM Radio, Yes Jewels, man. Appreciate you. Shout out. Thank you for supporting me, man. You've been there. You know, yeah, uh, Miami, Art Basel, all that. We're going to make a lot of history. I ain't know you can rap like that. Come get the, down with SODMG. You don't want your CEO hey! dancing in your video. Come sign the stacks on deck. Well, I'm a CEO, and I'm probably going to be dancing in the video. So. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and drop that, Alasia.